Hello and welcome back. In the last tutorial, we ended up giving, uh, setting all the informations in the fixture tab. Now we will go on with the geometry. Here you can see a 3D representation of what the fixture would like, uh, would look like. So now here we can click on the body or the beam. We can also hide it. The body is the housing and uh, the beam is uh, like the lens for example. And uh, in, an, in an LED power yard there are also lenses in there. So I would click on the body and here you can uh, set the geometry of the body down below here the body here are the uh, xyz coordinates and uh, the xyz rotations but uh, i won't uh, let them in the zero place here it's the uh, normal geometry i would let everything like it is but I would recommend changing the length, the width, and the height. For this, we would take another look in the manual. Unfortunately, there are not many informations about the right sizes in here. Here I would say we have um, 260. Huh? So I would make that here 236 by 236. And the height, I would say, is something about 350. And that's, that's it for the body. Um, other manuals provide you with much better information. Like mine has not that much information. So now we are looking for the beam and you can see if I hide the body but you can also see it if I when I click on the beam that it sits right back in there and I would like to have it at the at the front. So I have here the offset which I have to set correctly. And I set it to the same um, position 350 as my body length or body height. Here. Yeah. So, and what did we had at uh, 365 yes. I think we can let uh, the length and the height stay at 200 by 200 and the height of 20 so what kind of lamp type do we have we have an LED power consumption I look it up in the manual. It has 284 watts. So the luminous flux I have to look up. So sorry, I couldn't find something on the internet or in the manual about the luminous flux. So I looked up another 
um, LED power from Expo Light I did, and there I found 1500 luminous flux. Um, the color temperature, this is an LED uh, with a white LED and it's capable of doing, what does the manual say? In a second. A color temperature range from 3200 Kelvin up to 10,000 Kelvin and I think I will go here you will set the the default temperature color and I think I will go with 5600 Kelvin I'm sorry this is also not provided in the manual and I'm not sure uh, but the beam type I would call it spot and the beam angle is from 8 degrees up to 100. The beam diameter is, uh, um, as you can see, defines the diameter of the light output of the lamp's instance. And my, my beam, my lens has a diameter 200. So I would let it at this point. I um, can't say something about the CRI. I would go with 85. Yeah, that's not quite good if you don't get the right information. So it's not, if you don't have the information, the information you put in here might not be right. But um, if you don't have them, what you can do? Nothing you can do. So these are the things you can put in here. Um, the body, there are less information on the beam. There are some more, even if you don't have them. And here you could, onto, here we were onto geometry and here we are under the models and here you have um, different 3d models you can pick from the library in here conventional one for example is used here if you have a, a 3ds file if you can also upload it here and it will change the appearance of the fixture and here the beam or lens you have a normal cylinder you could, you could change it to something else and it would look something different but we'll let that at this point um, in the next tutorial i'll be going on with the physical descriptions see you then